Have a seat. I'll bring him right out. Hey! Watch where you're going, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you know how expensive this suit is? Much more than you can afford. You're probably right. I'm really sorry, sir. Some people. Anyway, um, let me get um, three slices of cheese. We have a five for five dollar deal if you want to add two more. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Great, have a seat. I'll bring them right out. What the heck? Okay, five slices of cheese. Great pizza, right? This is unbelievable. Really? You're gonna take the last slice of pizza? No. Oh. Sounds like you're hungry. There you go. That is disgusting. What is wrong with you? You know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should go out and get a job instead of eating other people's food. Here's your pizza, sir. No, no, no. No, you already dropped mine off. Oh, that was his pizza. He ordered the same thing. Oh my God, that was your pizza. Yes, it was. I'm so sorry. That whole time I, I thought you were eating my, my pizza. And, and then you, you split that last slice in half. But why? Well, I may not have much, but I'm always happy to share. I shouldn't have been so quick to assume. Please, please, have some of mine. I'm more than happy to share. Welcome to WhatsApp. Why can't I get started for you? Yeah, let me get a 12-inch veggie... Wait, Larry? Larry the loser from high school? I, I can't believe you work here. How embarrassing. Um... The times have been tough, so I do what I have to, to put food on the table. Who do you make here anyway? Like eight bucks an hour? Almost. Seven fifty. But my goal is to be a regional manager one day. Anyways, what are you doing nowadays? Well, I'm a manager for Darman Studios. I'm meeting with the owner a little bit later today, and he is going to promote me to senior manager. Wow. Hey, congrats. I'm really happy for you. Wish I could say the same to you. Doesn't seem like things have changed much, have they? Larry the loser. Okay, here's your food, and that'll be $14.50. By the way, nice uniform there, buddy. You know, one day you might be able to afford a suit and tie like this. Yeah, maybe. Actually, do me a favor. Smile. Can you please not take pictures of me? Oh, don't be shy. I just want everyone in high school to see what a loser you still are. Look at Larry the loser. Sandwich connoisseur. <laughs> uh, connoisseur. Hey, your photo already has 20 likes on it. You know, I would stay and hang out, but I've got a real job to get back to, so. 
Here you go. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. But I mean, it is your job to clean up the floors, right? You know what, Todd? You should never look down on someone. Because one day you might end up looking up to them. Isn't that ironic? The sandwich artist is trying to give me life advice. You know what, let me do you a favor. There's the tie. Now he's gotta sell enough sandwiches to get the rest of the suit. <laughs> Larry the loser. <laughs> Todd walks off, leaving Larry behind to clean up all the mess. He ends up attending the meeting with the owner, so excited for the promotion. Except, things don't go exactly as planned. The owner finds out about the Facebook post and fires Todd on the spot for violating the company bullying policy. Now unemployed, Todd has to look for other jobs, applying everywhere he can. But no matter where he goes, no one wants to hire him because of his bad references. After months of being unemployed, things get so bad that Todd runs out of money. Having tried so many other options, he decides to swallow his pride and apply at a fast food restaurant. And then one day, Todd happens to run into Larry. Welcome to What's Up. How can I help you, sir? Um, actually, I wanted to see if... Todd? Larry? I, I barely recognized you. What are you doing in a suit? Well, two weeks ago I got promoted to senior district manager. I'm now in charge of 125 locations. Wow, that's, that's incredible. Anyways, you want the same thing as last time? The 12-inch? Um, no, um, actually I came by to see if, see if you guys were hiring. Oh. You see, times have gotten a little tough and uh, Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to put food on the table. Are you sure you'd want to work for Larry the Loser? I'm really sorry for what I said to you. You were right. You should never look down at someone because one day you might be looking up to them. Can you ever forgive me? Yeah. Yeah, of course. And actually, I can get you started right away. Come on, I'll show you how to be a sandwich connoisseur. <laughs> hey, Pablo, you got a sec? Yeah, what's up, boss? Freddy got some bad news. We're uh, gonna have to let you go. Okay, you're kidding, right? I'm one of the hardest working people here. We had to make some budget cuts. I hope you can understand. No, what are you, this is... How am I supposed to pay my bills? I don't know, but I'm, I'm sure you're gonna figure it out. Good luck. Hey. You're home earlier. Yeah. Look, um, you're not gonna believe this, Ben. I, I just got fired today. What? Are you serious? Yeah, well, yeah, it came out of nowhere. But I don't understand. You told me you were getting a promotion. Well, I thought so too, but clearly that didn't happen, so. Okay. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Find another job? I mean, what else? Pablo, I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. You can't do what? What do you mean? 
I mean that when I first met you, you told me that you were going to start your own business someday and that we were going to live in a really nice place. And yet, we're still living in this dump and now you're unemployed. Well, I'm sorry. My life hasn't gone accordingly to your plan, okay? Uh, you know what? I'm leaving. Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. Where are you going, Shelby? Wait, look, we can- Pablo, <laughs> I need a man that can give me what I deserve and provide for me. And clearly, you're not that man. So, but, okay, but please don't just... Thanks. When are we ready? What's up? Hey man, wanna go to Vegas this weekend? The Bears are playing the Raiders. No, I, I, I can't be spending money like that. I just lost my job. For real? That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, I hate to ask, but I will need those $500 that I let you borrow a few weeks ago. Do you think you can Venmo them to me? Ah, uh, shoot. What? What's wrong? I didn't realize you'd need it back so soon, so I kind of already bet it on the football game. You did what? I'm sorry, but there was this really good parlay that was paying 20 to 1. If I win, that'd be 10 grand. No, nobody ever wins those, Dave. No, no, this one's different. Look, if I win, I'll pay you half. How's that? Whatever. I gotta go. Doing all right? No. Kind of wish that they never happened. That bad, huh? Yeah. At first, I lost my job. Then my girlfriend broke up with me. And well, now I just found out my friend gave away the $500 that he owes me, so. Ouch. Sorry you gotta go through all that. Don't be sad, though. God always closes the door for a reason. What do you mean? Well, let me ask you. This job you lost, is it what you always dreamed of doing? Well, no. You know, I've always dreamed of having my own donut shop. Feels like a long time ago, so. And this girl you were dating, you absolutely certain she was the one for you? I mean, her leaving like this does make me question things. And the 500 bucks, you can survive without it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to starve, if that's what you're asking. Well, then maybe just trust that God always closes the door for a reason. And one day, you just might thank him for it. So wait, you're, you're saying that all of this is happening for a reason? This one's on me. Hey, look at that. Your day's turning around already. Sorry I'm late. You must be Pablo? Yes, I saw the pictures online. So this place used to be a donut shop? Yep, so it's already built out for everything you need. You'd hardly have to spend any money to open. That sounds great to me. I think I'll take it. Great! <laughs> I do have to warn you. Because of what happened with the last tenant, the landlord is requiring a double security deposit. Oh. Uh, okay, and how much would that be? Well, let's see. First month's rent, plus two months security deposit, $5,700. Really? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have that kind of money. I barely have a thousand bucks, so. <sighs> well, if you do get all the money together, just give me a call. Don't wait too long though. A lot of people calling about this space. Good luck. Owning my own shop. <laughs> Who was I kidding? Pablo! You completely missed out, bro. You should have come to Vegas. That is the last thing on my mind right now, Dave. Hey, you okay? Are you still stressing about Shelby? No. I guess a little, but no. I met with a realtor, and he told me he wants $5,700 for this place. I mean, that's crazy, right? I don't have that kind of money, and... I don't understand how anything I just said could make you smile. Look, look, I would feel bad for you if there was any truth to what you just said. 
What do you mean? Remember that parlay I told you about? Yeah. Well, it hit. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're joking, right? No, man. And here is the five grand I promised you. <laughs> this is insane. Thank you. Of course, man. Hey, hey, look, and now you can open up your own shop. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it still wouldn't be enough to pay for inventory or to hire new employees. I, just, I don't think it's going to work. But thank you, really. No, 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 wait. I'll tell you what. Since you let me borrow money, here's another five grand. Hey, if I'm not going to take your money. I'm no, going to... it's a loan. Pay me back whenever you have it. Thank you, but no, really, this is... I, I, I insist. I wouldn't even have this money if it wasn't for your $500. Take it. Um... You're a good friend, man. No. Really, Dave, thank you. Of course. I, I promise you, you're not going to regret this. Hey, don't worry about it. All right, come here. <laughs> ah, donuts. Here you go. Thank you. Of course, you're welcome. Next. Ron, <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey, do you mind taking the next customer? Sure. Thank you. Well, I was just walking by and I thought I saw you. Is this your shop? Yeah, I bought it a few months ago and well, you can say things are going pretty well. I can tell. You've always been a hard worker, so you definitely deserve it. Thank you. Listen, our head chef position just opened up and it'd be a big promotion from your old job. Would you be interested? Um. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Hi, you know, what can I, I do for you? I'm all right. But thank you. I understand. Well, congrats on all your success. I'll see you soon, Ron. Hello? Hi. So I heard through the grapevine that you started your own business. Yeah, you can say that. I'm so, so proud of you. You know, I was thinking, we should start our relationship over again. Yeah, um, look, I don't know if that's a good idea, Shelby. You know, God always closes the door for a reason, and well, I intend to keep it that way, but, uh, so goodbye. Wait, don't go! There you go. Two pumpkin spice lattes. You are the best, man. Mm -hmm. Here you go. You know, you don't have to stay here and help me, right? You can just go home and relax. Are you kidding? I'd much rather be helping you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I thank God every day for introducing me to you. Hey, Pablo, can I get a smile for the DM times? Yeah. Oh. Babe, get in. Okay. One, two, and... <laughs> okay, that'll be 240. Could you charge it to my account, please? My name's Ryan Harris. It says here you don't have any credit left. Wait, are you sure? My mom said she would add them this morning. Could you check again, please? What's taking so long? Seriously, can you hurry up? I'm really sorry, but you're at zero dollars. Do you want to pay cash? No, it's okay. I wasn't really hungry anyway. Thank you. 
You can put it on my account. Olivia Jones? but I thought I didn't have enough credits. You don't, but it's okay, I paid for it. And I bought you some more credits to last you through the month. Uh, really? Uh, thank you so much. But why are you helping me? Well, I know what it feels like to not have lunch. You see, when I was a young girl, I went to school here too. My parents didn't have much money, so we barely got by. I remember one day, I stood in line waiting to buy my lunch, but I didn't have enough credit. So I left the line empty handed. I was so hungry and I didn't think I was going to eat. But then out of nowhere, the amazing cashier brought me lunch. I told her I couldn't pay for it, but she said all I needed to do was one day pay it forward and help someone else in need. So you see, I'll never forget that kind woman. She's the reason why I decided to start working here. She changed my life forever and she'll probably never know it. What a cool story. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Here, take this. And just remember to one day, pay it forward. I will. Hey mom, I'm home from school. Mom, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Listen, I'm so sorry you didn't get to eat again today. I just didn't have money to buy you credits. But I promise I will soon. like the worst mother in the world. Mom, it's okay. Look. I still ate today. You did? But how? Well, there was this really nice woman. She bought me lunch credits for the whole month. And the only thing she asked me to do was to one day help someone else in need. And she even gave me this card. Everything okay, Mom? Everything is great. <laughs> <laughs> what about the boys? It's the girls I'm worried about. But that's because they don't have any rules to follow. Amber! <laughs> Your shorts violate the school dress code. You have a lot of nerve talking back to me. You're on the verge of being suspended. Is there anything else you'd like to say? 